Hey there. Uh, in this video lesson, I want to conclude our discussion of relational database normalization design uh, by discussing the third normal form. Uh, while there are higher order normal forms, uh, the third normal form is the is the highest level of normalization that we will discuss in this class. It's the it's the highest level that typically has everyday consequences, things get fairly esoteric beyond that. Um, and while it may be the highest level that we're going to uh, ex uh, discuss in this class, it's uh, among the very easiest to understand. And the rule for third normal form is the relation, the relational schema needs to already be in second normal form. If it's not in second normal form, it can't be in third normal form, which means there cannot be uh, no partial no partial FDs, right? That's that's the definition of second normal form. And the new thing for third normal form is no transitive dependencies. Okay, so what's a transitive dependency? Well, let's first talk about transitivity by reviewing something you probably got way back in elementary school, the uh, preliminary exposure to the, to the transitive property uh, in terms of arithmetic. And that looks as follows. So if some variable, numeric variable A, is greater than B, right, and B in turn is greater than C, then therefore what? As you probably well know, by the transitive property, A is greater than C, right? Very literally elementary, that's, that's the transitive property. Okay, and the transitive functional dependency uh, works very, very similarly. And we can't have any in a third normal form relation. So let's look at an example of a relation that has a transitive dependency. I think it will ring a bell back to our ER diagram times together. So let's look at a concrete example. So we'll have a primary key in this relation of SSN employee number. So we're dealing with a an employee database and so we'll have name and contact info, etc. And in addition, we will have department number, department name, department location, and other information. So the thing to take note of here and you may already say, eh, alarm bells are going off. This does not look like a representative, accurate sort of relation that we would have as a result of applying the entity relation of diagramming and translating principles that we've worked through thus far. And you're absolutely right, but bear with me. It is perfectly legitimate from the first normal form. No reason to expect that we would have multi-valued non-atomic attributes. Second normal form is clearly not a problem because we have a primary key that is not concatenated. And if you don't have a concatenated key, you can't possibly have any problem with second normal form. So let's talk about third normal form. Uh, actually, before we do that, perfectly legitimate situation where we have SSN as the primary key. And for a given SSN, we could expect to only ever have one of those, one of the rest of the attributes. So that seems fine. But what we do have is, and what may seem strange right at the outset is, we have a set of information, you know, this first half, that appears to relate directly to the employee as identified by the social security number. And then we have this set of ancillary information that seems to relate to the department as identified by department number. And while it is the case that mm -hmm. for a given individual identified by SSN, there could be and is in this case at most one department 
and thus department number associated with that individual, it seems a little funky that we have, you know, sort of two entities worth of attributes in this relation. And indeed, it is not only funky from that ER diagramish perspective, it is also rather funky from the perspective of normalization. So what we have is SSN directly functionally determines name, contact info for the employee, etc. And SSN directly determines department number. A given employee has one and only one department, identified department number. But then department number directly functionally determines department name, department location. And of course, we're taking for granted that for a given department, there can be at most one department location. Department location could easily be a multi-valued attribute, right? But in this example, we're saying no, given department, one and only one location. And same for, for all the rest of these department related attributes right so here's the transitive here's the transitivity social security number goes to department department number social security number goes to department number department number determines all the rest about department and that says 3nf no siree we've got these transitive dependencies ssn determines department number Department number determines department name. Department number determines department location. Department number determines the other attributes related to department. That is a no-go for third normal form. So basically, if you have a relation, it's very, very informally, obviously. If you have a relation that looks as though it is overloaded with more than one entity's worth of information that is problematic vis-a-vis uh, -vis third normal form. So something like this relation here would not qualify for third normal form. It would The highest normal form it's in is second. And if we wanted to fix that, we would simply create a separate relation for department. And so we would have a relation and thus table for the employee info, info here and a separate one for the department info here, which again, and this is why we don't emphasize normalization as much as you might in other, uh, in other courses. If you did your entity relationship diagramming and your translation appropriately, you would, you would, never, you would never have something like this deal here anyway. Um, so that's it about third normal form. It might be the simplest, most straightforward conversation that we've had thus far. In a related video, uh, directly after this one, we will take up some of the consequences in terms of uh, errors and anomalies and headaches you can have in maintaining a database if it is not normalized to the third form. So we'll see examples of problems from second form, Second normal form violation, we'll see problems from third normal form violation. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about third normal form or normal, normalization generally. Study hard, and I'll see you online.